<laughs> How the hunk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, and the channel that is anything and everything Land Rover. Yes, thank you for joining me today. Uh, I've been going through the uh, series. I just kind of dreamt up this series. I don't know. I hit my head on the toilet and drew the flux capacitor. Okay, that's a uh, movie reference to, uh, yeah, Back to the Future. But anyway. <laughs> Every model made by a toy manufacturer, and uh, this is, um, yeah, just something fun that I've done. I've, I've done videos on uh, pretty much all this stuff in my collection, uh, but I'm still learning, and the collection is still growing. And so, anyway, this is just a quick little video to take a uh, snapshot of what uh, toy manufacturers have made in uh, such and so forth. So, anyway, today it's Corgi. So uh, we did, uh, and maybe we'll tag it at the end, the Corgi, the 164 scale. Now, Corgi has done larger scales. And uh, with hesitation, I kind of am, I'm kind of hesitant on doing this. I took a couple of minutes to scour my uh, Land Rover collection. Um, someday, maybe I'll show you the, uh, the uh, Land Rover collection uh, as it is, uh, uh, displayed and things like that someday maybe I don't know if there's enough requests anyway uh, so yeah so this is Corgi this I believe is um, what they made in large scale that's uh, 143rd and bigger maybe but uh, if I am wrong if I am missing one uh, one I apologize Two, uh, Corgi is hard to get here in mid America Wisconsin, i.e. Wisconsin, we just can't go down to the local toy store and buy them. So uh, a lot of these, I pretty much all of these, I bought second market, eBay, um, garage sales, you know, just kind of odd where places where you could find them. Um, and I am learning. I would love to learn if there was one that I'm missing uh, so that I could maybe pick it up someday. But, um, all right, so let's start with the Corgi, and this is probably uh, the most uh, iconic, the most, uh, and in my opinion, produced, mass produced, uh, the uh, most familiar, if you were going to say Corgi Land Rovers, I think, in my opinion, worldwide, this casting would be the one that would come to mind. Now they did uh, regular wheels and then they did the whiz wheels. Regular wheels are aluminum uh, center hubs with rubber tires. These is later on in the days of uh, Corgi where they went to just plastic tires. Uh, but the same basic Land Rover 109 long, uh, wheelbase uh, like pickup type. Um, and then they would put uh, I mean, Corgi did a very, very good job uh, picking. I, I'm assuming that they started with the conversation of what Land Rover model can we do that we could get the most mileage out of as far as variations, colors, uh, you know, uh, different genres that we could cover and things like that. This uh, bugger here. Uh, I think they wore out the um, the the mold that they <laughs> cast this die cast, and a lot of them, I think all of them had metal base, metal bodies, but it is die cast. And like I said, they they did a wonderful job picking the model, and then two uh, picking um, different genres. Uh, that was it, the Chipperfield uh, Circus was a big hit. Um, the just uh, horse wagons, uh, regular you know airplane trailer. To, you know, th there's a whole series. Matter of fact, if you want to go to the playlist to the Corgi um, playlist of all the different uh, things that they have done with this, uh, you know, this model here. It's just awesome. So anyway. The old trusted, the old standby, Corgi Toys Land Rover 109 wheelbase. 
All right, I think the uh, next one, in my opinion, is this one here. This is the um, Vigilant Range Rover. If, if you were going to say Corgi, <laughs> this would be the uh, Range Rover that you think of that uh, comes to mind. Uh, and I don't, does this say a scale on it? But this is like 143rd scale, something like that. Uh, I believe, I don't. Boy, I can't remember now. I think these were all whiz wheels. They're all, uh, they didn't come with rubber wheels as far as I remember. Uh, at least not here per se, quote unquote, in the States. Now, there was a couple of different variations that had different uh, tops to it. Uh, some of them had uh, spotlights on the sides, little plastic spotlights. Um, but they all had... Um, opening rear hatch and stuff like that uh, mainly police vehicles um, and and ambulance but emergency vehicles so once again they picked a very good model of Land Rover the Range Rover to be able to apply that to many different applications uh, once again a big big seller for them um, uh, I, I, I like the model. Good, heavy model. Uh, as far as I know, once again, always metal on metal. Um, one of the uh, other oldest ones that uh, is pretty popular, um, and maybe depending on where you are in the world, this might be the uh, Corgi that uh, you remember most, uh, the Series 3, older model, so, but still Land Rover 106 wheelbase so very very cool um once again and I'll, my mine are always missing parts and pieces because i i never was able to buy one out of the package but the forest fire warden here is a good one um they did what they electrotronics one um with the a light on top but this is supposed to have a ladder down the side yeah it's this one here on this side here ladder down the side they did a couple of different variations of this um, not as many totally not as many as these two vehicles but uh, once again very very cool uh, always had the uh, plastic wheels on it always uh, that variation but uh, yeah just a totally cool awesome now this is a larger scale I it doesn't really say what scale this is but I would say I don't know what is one fiftieth scale. I'm I'm not sure, but this is this is pretty pretty big compared to you know the regular Corgi one forty third scale, you know. But uh, another one, awesome. And then we come to this last one. This is um this is not um uh, this is not a toy. This is a collector series, in my opinion. This is later on in in years in Corgi where they kind of went away from um, toy manufacturer and went into model making. And excellent job. Corgi has always been uh, very good with details and, and even the simple uh, things. They had a lot of details and things like that. Now this has introduced a lot of plastic parts and pieces delicate you can see my uh, side mirrors are smashed in I am never going to touch those because they will snap right off uh, mud flaps uh, so yeah and and once again no no scale on here uh, I think this gets down back to the 143rd scale again but um, very very nice um, once again taking um, the 109 or this by this time it'd be the 110 uh, defender Picking a model that they can use as far as, uh, you know, um, emergency vehicles and, and things like that, you know, so very, very awesome. All right, well, that's it. That's a quick look of all the uh, Land Rover models by Corgi large scale. Please come on over to Facebook. That's, I always point over there. I don't know why. Um, Show me yours. What am I missing if I'm missing something? And if not, show me your favorite one of these. Show me your favorite Blanc, uh, um, Villagent, and, or, or what, whatever. Show me yours. I'd love to see what you have and uh, what I'm missing. 
Make sure you give me a thumbs up. There's my big thumb. Make sure you subscribe down over here and share. And uh, that's it. Awesome. Thank you for joining me. We're going to take a close-up look at this one while we're out of here. All right, this is your friend Dano. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover